welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be testing out the Revlon Salon One Step Hair Dryer and Voluminizer. So if you guys want to see just how well this worked, then please keep watching. Okay, so I just got out of the shower a little while ago and my hair is a little damp but not super wet. So I recorded a straight hair tutorial maybe a little over a year ago. I'm gonna link that video. I think I could do that in the description box down below if you haven't already seen it. That was, was like my go-to straight hair tutorial, but it was very time consuming and I realized I didn't really use any hair primer or anything to protect my hair from heat damage. So now I do use hair primer. I actually use the Amica Bombshell Blowout Spray. This has been my go-to. It voluminizes and fights frizz and it protects your hair from heat damage. Unfortunately, I have like nothing left. I'm down to the bottom. Now, I'm using the apple cider. So this was a sample. It's called the DP Hue Apple Cider Vinegar Leave-In Hair Therapy to protect my hair from heat damage. So I'm just gonna spritz a little bit. The only thing I don't like about this is it smells like apple cider vinegar. And then I've been using the Monet Restore Leave-In Conditioner. So this is supposed to help fight frizz. My hair is super long. So straightening out my hair is pretty time consuming, but I have heard good things about this product that I'm gonna be using. So I'm gonna be trying out the Revlon One Step Hair Dryer. So this, I didn't know it was this bulky and when I opened it up, I was kind of like, ooh, it's a little too big, but I get it. Basically this and this in one. Okay, so it gives you options. So you have a cool setting, a low setting, and a high setting. I think I'm gonna use a low setting. Now that I prepped my hair, I'm going to comb it. So I will be right back. So whenever I straighten out my hair, I like to part my hair in sections. But for the sake of this video, I'm still gonna do that, but usually I start from the back and work my way up. But I'm gonna take this first section of hair right here and I'm going to use that just to see how well this works. Wow, I'm impressed. All right, so now I'm just going to take my hair and section it like I normally would. So I like to start from the back and then work my way up to the front. This you can see. That's good. I'm very impressed so far. I feel like that was really fast. That took me like two minutes. All right, so now that I'm done with this section, I'm gonna go ahead and just keep sectioning off my hair and blowing it out. Usually with a blow dryer and a comb, I would struggle so much with the blow dryer. My arms would literally hurt. Luckily, I'm not feeling that at all. This, even though it looks really bulky, honestly, it's so easy to use. So this has gone by so fast, to be honest, and it's probably gonna be a total of like 30 minutes to straighten out, which is crazy. We're down to like the last two pieces here, which is amazing. So, so far so good, basically done, but if you have curly hair, you know that there are certain hairs that do not like to cooperate when you're straightening, <laughs> and I'm noticing that. So I'm gonna take the tool and go in with high and just try and tame those little pesky hairs. And then I'm done. 
So here you have it guys. This is the final result. I'm honestly really obsessed with the Revlon One Step Hair Dryer in Voluminizer. I'm not necessarily crazy about the name because it's so long, but it did such a good job and honestly, it really did cut my straight hair time in half, which is amazing. If you guys wanna pick it up, I'm gonna link it down below. I believe it was $56 and I got it on Amazon. I know they also sell it at Target. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more videos from me, please hit the subscribe button down below and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.